I'm currently concerned with how the tactical situation's unfolding. We've only penetrated the front lines by around 10 to 20 miles, when realistically, it should be 40 to 70. Next, the city of Krasnodar is being reinforced by Soviet partisans. They are digging anti-tank ditches and building barricades. This city stands in our direct path when we assault the eastern flank. So, we are going to have to deal with that at a later time. Our southern forces are going to continue their assault to the Strait of Kerch in order to secure those five Romanian divisions. Our first Panzer Army is going to con continue its assault towards the east and eliminate any hostiles that they come across. We are going to see secure this air base right here at Salik, and then we're going to ferry troops in there via an, via an airborne operation. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to begin moving the first Panzer Army after we finish our air operation. So let's do our quick little air, execute our air directives. Once our air directive is finished and secure, we'll conduct our ground operation and prep that air base for its invasion. As you see, we're just currently executing our air directives and it's going quite well. With that directive complete, we can begin our ground assault. So let's move, let's begin moving this th Panzer Division towards the right and start by securing this position right there. Looks like there's a small evacuation taking place. We're going to continue our assault. We're moving our second, our third Panzer on the southern flank. We're not using all of our movement points just in case we come across any hostile force. As you see, there was possibly no unit there. I'm going to move this unit right here and just charge those front lines. This unit is going to reinforce that position right there. This unit is going to continue its assault forward to around right there and then this unit is also going to reinforce that unit as well off that position then we're going to move our mechanized division down here and once they're there they're going to build a depot all right with that depot being built we're going to continue to reinforce these hexes and conduct this operation down here on the southern flank all right that's mostly how we're going to manage our eastern assault we're going to move these units forward as well. We're going to stack them with those units right there. And then we're going to deal with this hostile unit that's currently in position. We're going to do a deliberate attack, 15 to 1, and we're going to easily destroy them. We're going to move this unit forward. They have no opportunity to attack. But on our next turn, we're going to easily eliminate this unit that currently stands in our path. And we're going to cut, it, cut them off so they can't really advance any further. This unit's going to move into position down there. And then we're going to begin our tactical encirclement of this unit right here. Let's continue our movements. Let's get everyone in position. We want everyone to be in position and secure we want to cut this unit off All right this unit's going to advance and reinforce then we have a massive stack of units right here and they need to block this unit off as well so in order to do that he needs to be on this back side These two units are going to move into position right there. And that unit is now encircled. So what we've done so far is we've created a depot. We've continued our advance. And we advance far more than 10 to 20 miles this time. We're upwards of 50 to 70 now. So one that alleviates some of our concerns there. Next, we're going to click on this F9 key. And we're going to reinforce this position right here with an air assault. Let me find it one more time. We're going to conduct the Bicycle Security Regiment, and we're going to drop them forward into this forward position, and they're going to reinforce us a little bit from what we need. All right, so there's our quick little airborne operation taking place. We're going to hit the next key, and we're going to allow the other units to conduct their operation too. All right, with all the, the operations underway, the unit encircled, everything taking place, our advance was successful. Soviets continued their attack as well. We have units inbound to reinforce this position. We have two flanks forming over here on this eastern flank. And then the southern front's 
unfolding quite well. I don't think we'll be at the straight of Kirch for a few more turns, especially with the reinforcements down there at Krasnodar. All right, we're currently watching all of this unfold at, at the moment in time. This looks to be the Soviet forces conducting their, oper air, their air operations. Hopefully they don't, don't do a lot of airborne jumps like we just did. That would be quite unfortunate. Looks like there is some movement over there on the right-hand side, and it looks like they are trying to reinforce that position up there on the left, over there on the west. All right, logistics are currently running. A few little encirclements. Next, we're going to secure these two ports. And then we may push a bit to the east, but let's see what everything looks like real quick. Conduct this save. We're just going to be do a brief recap. We lost 2,000 units. And it looks like this may have been a mistake, but maybe they just caused this unit to re retreat. Let's see what we get. All right. Well, and then this unit looks like he moved a little bit as well. All right. So we're going to destroy that unit next turn. We're going to check on these units. Here's our newly reinforced positions. And then we are going to recap turn two and turn three. That's all I have for you. Just a small little operation. All right, guys. Peace out.